Roughly 10,000 aspiring writers submitted entries to a recent Amazon publishing contest in hopes of receiving a big publishing deal. So what makes a publisher take notice of your manuscript? Joining us to share a few tips is Terry Goodman, the senior editorial leader of Lake Union Publishing and a judge from this Amazon contest. Hello, Terry. Hello. Pleasure to meet you. So this is so exciting because as you were telling me during the break, it is so easy to self-publish these days. Uh, yes, I mean, now more than ever uh, in, in the history of publishing, authors have more venues, more chances, more ways to get their words out to readers. There's traditional publishing, there's self-publishing, and I, you know, literally tens of thousands of people are publishing every year on Amazon.com on the self-publishing platform and many other platforms that are, that are coming up too. And, uh, you know, the days of, of waiting for traditional publishing to anoint you with a book contract are kind of over. Right. Well, Having said that, we have anointed some book contracts today. You um, have. The Amazon, yes, the Amazon Breakthrough Novel Award, uh, which is now in its seventh successful year, we were proud to announce the grand prize winner today, who was D.M. Pulley of Shaker Heights, Ohio, for her uh, expertly plotted and intricately crafted book, The Dead Key, which takes place simultaneously in 1978 and 1998. Oh. Two different women trying to solve the same mystery. It's a concept that seems impossible to pull off, and yet she's done an amazing job of it. Yeah. So I think our customers chose a great book as the grand prize winner. Now, Terry, let me ask you, because traditionally speaking, you know, if somebody writes a book, then there's the process of finding a literary agent, and then you go through all the, the query letters to find an agent, and then, you know, if you're lucky enough to get an agent, with very, which very few people are, you're sending off to different publishers. What, but, but there's something to that process, because it's a way to weed out the stories that, you know, aren't frankly aren't very good. So how do you know if you have an interesting enough story to self-publish? Uh, well, I mean, first you've got to trust your voice, you've got to trust your talent, and you have to trust your story. You know, just because a, an agent isn't interested in your work doesn't mean that you haven't created good work. Uh, now more than ever, there are so many more venues to have your work put in front of the real judges, which are the audience and the customers that are buying it. Um, that it's no longer that you have to have an agent in order to get submitted. I mean, I do deal with agents on a daily basis, and they submit many, many fine works to me, but I'm also looking at self-published works uh, to see what I can find there, and I reach out to a lot of authors that have self-published to tell them I enjoyed their work and see what their plans are. So, Terry, so let's... the old days... Go ahead. Well, I was just going to say, okay, so, so just walk me through the steps. Um, I've written my manuscript. Now what do I do? So if you are going to uh, submit it, you should include a cover letter. That cover letter should only, never be more than one page long. It should be a great elevator pitch introduction not only to you as an author but to your work. And it should be intelligent, it should be pithy, and it should not have any spelling errors because many a great book has never been read because the cover letter that attached to the book was bad. Yes. Okay, and where do we send that? We send that to Amazon? Well, um, you can send it to any of the publishers that you can find just in Publishers Weekly or any, any um, you know, Google search that you want to do about publishers. We don't actually have a submission process through Amazon Publishing. We look for books that are already self-published on our Kindle Direct Publishing. Okay, so, so that brings us to the Kindle thing. So, so, so you would suggest yes. that, that if someone's um, written their manuscript that they go to the Kindle Publishing um, area of the website. Yes, at the, at, at the bottom of every detail page, there's a little thing that says, want to publish with us or how to publish your own book. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, now more than ever, it's, it's incredibly easy for an author to publish their own work. Um, then they should get on social media. They should make sure that people are finding out about their work. And if enough customers and readers are responding to that work, somebody like me who's an editor will take notice and uh, approach them that way. Well, Terry, thank you so much for your time this morning. I know lots of people at home right now who have these ideas for books are maybe going to get busy at, the, uh, at their laptop today. So that's good news. Well, great. That would be great. All right. You have a great morning. Coming up next, it is the southern indie rock band Goodnight Ned. We're spotlighting one of their new songs that's featured on their latest CD. Stay tuned.